show you this new creation of mine. I'm going to be making these harem pants with you. Um, you can adjust it. It's really one size fits all, but we know that that's not really true in the long run. So I'm going to give you one or two little tips to make it slightly larger or maybe slightly smaller. But they turned out pretty well. Um, this is the... This is what they totally look like, and they long here. They have a bit of a twist at the bottom, um, which just gives it a different flair. They're not hard to make. You can make it. Um, we're just going to. I'll draw the pattern with you. We make our own pattern. You want to get a fabric that's pretty thin and has a nice um, drape. You don't want a thick fabric because that's not going to work. You need to be able to flow nicely like this. But yeah, and then it comes all the way up. I've made it like this so that if you need it to drop down, I have very long legs, so I've made it longer for me. But if it's too long for you, you can put this up or you can drop it down if you need it for more length down the bottom. It's going to depend on you. Um, I'll show you one or two ways because you can also fold this over and sew it down. So if you want it like that. But I'll show you all those little tricks. But um, So it's pretty versatile in its style. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you how Before to make Before we begin them. making our pants, I want to just go through a few things with you as to what you're going to need. To start off, you want to go to where the attachments are and you'll find that you have a pattern. And it should look like this. Um, that is what our pattern is going to look like. The bottom part is your actual pants and then this is for the waistband and then for your foot and those are the only three pieces we need. Now I've I've done it where mine is not on the grain of my fabric and then that's simply because I didn't have a wide enough fabric and it might be hard for you to find a fabric wide enough um, in the kind of fabric that you like because upholstery fabric comes in very wide fabric but the you know, your fabric for apparel doesn't really come that wide. So it's fine to do this off the grain. So don't worry about that because it's very floppy and it's large. So it doesn't really matter. It's going to be all right. It's just a fun project. So um, just so you know that if you find a fabric that is wide enough, you can do yours on the grain and then it's great. So, but what I'm saying is it doesn't really matter. Um, so you're going to be cutting yours out. You want to do where I've got on the fold, be sure to put your um, pattern piece on the fold. This is not to size, this is just what it looks like and the measurements and you're going to draw it on this brown paper. So don't worry about that, but it's just to show you what it looks like and how it's going to be. So this must be on the fold, that must be on the fold and this must be on the fold. So if it's not on the fold, you need to double this length so that you get a size large enough long enough so that's an important factor um, the fabrics that we're using you also have a look on the attachments as to what you want what specifics I have given you the one thing that you do need is this elastic sewing thread it's a thread that we're going to be putting in our bobbin and we're going to be sewing the top part of our garment our pants with it we're going to be gathering this with that elastic. It only goes in the bobbin, not in the top spool, just in the bobbin. Um, so that's, you might not be familiar with this, but you can get it anywhere. It's a very thin elastic. It's just an, it's called elastic sewing thread. And then to cut your pattern out, you want to get this craft paper. You can use whatever, I mean, you can use a piece of newspaper if you find it's large enough, but this I find works the best. It's pretty inexpensive and you can draw your pattern piece out on that. Your three, you should have three pattern pieces. That's all that you need for this actual. Part. And this is what your pants look like. And that's the leg and there's the other side. So it's very easy to make and this is the part that goes on the fold. This bottom part here is what gets put on the fold of your fabric and that's why this is how wide it is. See, this is super wide. That's what a fine fabric that wide is not always that easy. And that's on the fold. So you flip it over and your fabric flips over like that. But I do show you how to do it. Now, when choosing your fabric, right. when choosing your fabric, be sure to get a fabric that is nice and easy flowing. You don't want a heavy, thick fabric because it's not going to 
have a nice drape. You want something that has a really nice drape. Right, so just be aware that you want a nice drape on your fabric. Now, if you are wanting to make yours on the grain, you're going to need at least 65 inches wide or longer. So that's why I say it's a little bit tricky to find something that wide, but you might be able to get that. And you're going to need about two yards. You'll probably have a little bit over, but rather get more than less. I always go with more than less. If you're not on the grain like I was, 55 inches wide should be all right. So you can go between 55 to 60 inches. Um, and you need two and a half yards if you're not going on the grain. So it is still a very wide fabric. The reason you want it wide is because I don't want a seam down the middle of my pants. See, you don't want a seam coming there because you could have got two pieces and joined them down the center, but we don't want, I don't want that. So you're still going to need a wide piece of fabric, but not as wide as if you did it on the grain. And you do get this was wide. All right, I do go through a quick review of how we draw the pattern. I do do that and I do a quick review of how we're going to be sewing our pieces together. So yeah, I would watch those, it just gives you an idea of how you're going to be doing it on a small scale versus the large scale. So, um, and I do give you a few options as to if you don't want to put the foot part, this little piece in, you can put an elastic in at the bottom, just fold it over, put an elastic in. That's pretty simple. Um, if you don't want these are pretty long. The length is pretty long because I have long legs. So I give you options to where well, you don't have to make it quite as long as mine if you don't want to have it. That and long. yeah, so that's basically all that you need to know to begin with. So I'm going to go ahead and let's get started. All right, so what we have here is what our pattern is ultimately going to look like. It's pretty simple, and this is going to fit at least a small to an extra large. So if you're in that category between a small and extra large, this one size, it should fit you. For the small, it'll be slightly large, and for the extra large, it'll be not as large. It just, it, it does fit both sizes, which is quite amazing. But if, what I would do is, I've, if I was you, is I'd cut it out onto a piece of muslin or onto an old sheet. Grab an old sheet. You just need a little bit of extra fabric, you know, a sheet that you're going to be throwing away. And you'll cut out, the once we've got the pattern on our paper, you'll cut it out on a piece of sheet. And you can see then if it's going to fit you the way you want. If it doesn't, then you haven't wasted your fabric. So that's pretty important to remember. This is 23 inches around your hips. And that's just the one side. You're going to be doubling that. So it's 46 inches around the hips, but that's without it being um, pulled in with elastic. And so it will stretch out to about 46 inches. Okay, and that will be fairly snug. So that's why I say, you know, I'm, I'm more or less, I think, 42 inches, and I like to be in a large. So that's why I say it will fit a small to extra large. And my daughter is much smaller than me, and it fits her. So you can play with yours, you know. Draw it out on a piece of paper, like I'm going to show you. Draw it out, cut it out on an old piece of sheet. You can cut a few out on an old piece of sheet if you like. So it's easy enough for you to see if it's going to fit you or not. If you are wanting to go larger, um, you can do that. Um, we are going from... Here to here, ours is measuring 23 inches. Now, if you're wanting to go larger, I would suggest that you add um, one to two inches larger. You're going to, then you say you you would make this 25 inches if you went two inches larger, you would be 25. We do halve it here, and this would be half of the 25, which is going to be 12.5 instead of 11.5. Um, so, I do um, have notes for you. If if you look on the video, there should be an attachment. Now, with the attachment, you'll see numbers on the video. For example, I've got number one or number two on different parts of the video. That's um, corresponding to the notes. So if you see that, just that just tells you where we're doing it. So you don't have to try and find it on the video. You don't have to back and forth to find it. If you just find where the number is, you'll know that number is corresponding to 
the instructions on the attachment so that just makes it easier for you so you can just follow that but now if you are going to go larger make that larger there and um, you're going to if you increase that by two you're gonna to have to increase this bottom line by two as well so that they still so it's equal you you got to if you're increasing this by two inches increase your bottom by two inches as well which means your center line would change but I do explain just follow what I'm saying with the um, original pattern and then if you've increased yours just follow suit because it's it's very self-explanatory but if you do do two inches here you do need to add two inches over here as well you can leave the seven inches as it is that should be okay um yeah that's i think that's all you really need to know now that's the way that you can actually change the pattern if you're increasing it if you um find that the length is too long you could shorten this length as well you could just drop this line here this is 26 inches if you don't want it quite this long mine is fairly long i'm telling you up front it is pretty long but you can play with it with this elasticized part i'm just raising it higher or you can make the waistband smaller so those are a few things but if you want to make your actual pattern shorter i would drop it maybe one two inches um and then this line would just be a little bit shorter it would come over here so there's nothing really hard about this you just have your line over there it's not hard um those would be the places that you go you would change your um pattern otherwise you can do it with your actual pants you know this is the part you could here. change this you could make this shorter you don't have to have it quite as long as this um we do make a waistband as well which i show you on the video it's just a straight piece of fabric that we sew on to here we just sew it onto there so you could make this shorter if you wanted to don't make it quite as thick it would be over there that's one way um but i kind of like it a little bit thicker and then just pulling it up and down or you could just make this like one inch or half an inch shorter and make this like an inch shorter then you've got one and a half inches shorter and nothing has really changed so that's a few variations i did put a little band at the bottom of my foot if you don't want to you could just put elastic in yours you could still use the band and just put elastic in here that will also stop it from dropping down because it's like this it drops down further so if you have really short legs that's so that's really all that you need to know in the variations and find your attachments to the projects and yeah so let's get going all right so i thought that i'd give you a quick preview how we're going to be sewing our pants up um with all the pattern pieces just in a miniature little version because i find this helps me a lot better if i can just see the direction we're going in so i'm going to go ahead and show you how we're going to be putting it together and then we'll do it with our actual fabric so yeah let's get started all right so this is what you need to draw you would be drawing your waistband your little foot part and this is the main body of your garment your harem pants now these are the only parts that you need for your entire pant so that's fairly easy now you're going to get your big piece of paper and you're going to draw this on and um, I would draw this one first and you're going to do your 23 inches and draw it the way I tell you I explain how to to draw it you, you draw i'll show you how to do it you start off over here and then we go up here and do this so you can follow me with that what i'm trying to do here is just show you with everything in a small version so it's a little bit easier for you to understand um, i'm actually going to cut out this little version on a piece of old sheet so that you can see exactly what i'm doing so when i show you how to do it on the with the um, pants it's a little easier for you to follow me because you will have seen how I do it here so I'm just going to do it like pretty quickly with you so once you've drawn your pieces don't forget that you need a seam allowance um, you can put it in afterwards or you can draw it onto your fabric that is going to be up to you but don't forget about seam allowance because that's an important one 
if you're making yours larger or smaller I do explain how to do that and um, it's up to you as to what you want to do in that regard so once you've drawn it on your paper you'll get a scissors and we're just going to be cutting it out now I'm going to do it with you on here so it's a little bit easier so you would place this on your fabric now your fabric um, it's up to you I used a scrap piece of mine to do my foot um, when you see in the video I do mine off the grain I don't do mine on the grain because my fabric is not long enough you need a long piece of fabric and the the best is to get a 65 inch width and then you only need like one and a half in length in your yardage but because mine is not on the grain I didn't have to go so that wide but it's hard to find the nice fabric that you want to make apparel in such a long width but um, being off the grain is actually fine it doesn't harm this pattern because of it being so wide so from that perspective it's all right and if you are doing the um, not on the grain um, your just follow the attachment with as to how much fabric you actually need but um, to place it on your fabric I'm going to show you so I'm going to cut this out you simply once you've drawn yours you would just cut it out and mine's including a seam allowance so I don't have to worry about that mine's already got a seam allowance if it doesn't if you didn't do yours with a seam allowance just remember your seam allowance so you will cut it out cut that one out cut your foot out you should have three pieces so I don't need this anymore you should have three pieces now you'll get your fabric all right so if this is your width all right and you're able to fit your pants across as you know this is 64 inches if you're going with my size so your fabric if you're going to do it on the grain from side to side would have to be at least 65 inches because you need your seam allowance as well if that's the case and you've got a nice piece that's long enough you're going to take and fold it in half all right because this has to go on the fold okay so you would put this on the fold like that all right and you would cut it out like that you'd also need your waistband so you'd want to make a place for your waistband now with your waistband depending on how you do yours the waistband needs to be as wide as this top part so if you made yours larger you're going to make it larger so it needs to be 23 inches and so I make mine at least 25 inches I like to have more just in case I need more so I do it that way okay when you do your waistband you would probably want to go with 46 inches this way because you don't want to make a 23 inch and have to sew it and then sew it closed so you would go with um, a 46 inch well I'd make it more I'd make it about 48 inches well that's for plus seam allowances so just make it longer because it's straight it doesn't matter you can cut the ends off I make mine along the fold one. over here so if you're doing a 23 inch it's got to go onto the fold like that so that you have a but ultimately you need double this size you need a 46 inch all right your foot your foot needs to be um, 8.5 by 4 inches plus a seam allowance so that one you can cut out and you need one for each foot so you're going to have to cut two of those out okay, and then the foot would also need to be on the fold if you're doing it that way or if you're not going to put it on the fold then you need to double it so you'd need this to be about 16 17 or 18 doesn't matter once again it's straight you can cut the ends off so you need that about 18 inches or you can put it on the fold at your eight and a half like that and same with this you just double it because you need two you need one for each side and this one needs to go right around twice okay so that's pretty easy to work out and then you would cut it out on your fabric now if you don't have you can't do yours on the grain so in other words you can't do it that way take your, your fabric the other way and then you're going to fold it lengthwise this way all right so now we're not on the grain you're going to be folding it lengthwise so you've got a longer piece this way and then you're going to put this on the fold same thing but it's going to be this way all right and then you can put your waistband on the fold as well it will also be on the fold like that and you can put your foot on the fold and these ones 
can stay with um, the smaller size 8.5 you don't have to double it because it's doubling automatically on your fold just if you're not putting it on the fold you must double it um, yeah and that's all that you would do that's how you're going to lay it out on your fabric and then cut it out I do show you but this is just easier for you to see in the small version now I'm going to cut this out and I'll just show you how we put it together and it just makes it a little bit easier so cut yours out on your fabric and then I'll show you how we piece it together don't forget when you're actually doing your pattern this part should have been cut off you cut anyway, this so now you you've got your pieces your foot piece can stay there your waistband can stay there you don't need that you don't need these side pieces and you should be looking like this now you should be having your right sides facing each other so you've got a piece of fabric like this be sure that your right sides are in the middle so this is my wrong side and this is my wrong side that's important and then you're just going to pin the top part over here you pin this and you pin this just so you don't get confused as to what is what and this is where our waistband is going to come on here and then where your foot goes the top part over here you can pin that because then you know that's where your foot goes and this is where your foot goes so what we end up doing is we end up sewing this over here and we sew that over there this stays the same so when I say we're going to go sew the sides, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be sewing up here, and you're going to be sewing up here. So I'm going to just tack mine, and I'll, I'll show you what to do next. Right, so then this is what you look, you kind of, it looks like a bit of a diaper in the long run, but that part is what hangs, and your feet, your feet go in here and in here. So it ends up going like that, falling like that. And yeah, but I just wanted to show you that then your foot gets sewn on here and I'll show you how. If you really don't want that, you could put an elastic by just folding this over, put elastic inside that. But I didn't do that and I'll show you how to put the foot on. But bottom line is this would get put on here. It goes all the way around. This, uh, the other foot would get put on over here and then your band would get sewn on here all the way around. So that's the quick version so you have an idea before you even start the pants as to what you're doing and where you're going with the whole project. So I do show you how to do it all but I thought I'd show you this. It just makes it easier when you have a vision of what you're actually doing. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. And um, yeah, so let's get started.